Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a video about batteries. Yep, batteries and this video will talk about batteries both for your cell phone and for your PC. The um, general information, the general information that everybody gets is totally long, wrong and um, it is very interesting to see that you know salesmen or you know people give advice on battery and actually what they give as advice is actually going to burn your battery 100 times faster than um, you know the latest advice. Remember one thing 90% of the advice that I hear about battery care are outdated. They are uh, advice from the time of you know the old laptops and the first cell phones that had um, you know rather um, other technologies, which was like you know nickel cadmium, uh, nickel cadmium and uh, nickel metal hydride, and these had flaws, including you know memory issues, what we call the the battery memory issue, where it it would you know uh, not remember what's the full charge and stuff like that. Okay, here here we are here to put things straight, and I want everybody to just know one major issue today. We are on new technology that's lithium ion. It's a very different technology than in the past. Unfortunately, a lot of people have the bad knowledge of the battery and you wonder why after a year, battery doesn't work anymore. Here's the thing. The batteries we have today, lithium ion, first of all, do not have memory issues. That means they you don't have to discharge them totally before you recharge them. That is an extremely bad habit on all the batteries. So both on your phone and on your laptop, when you use the battery, as soon as you can charge it, charge it. Avoid going below 30%. The more you go below 30%, the more your battery is going to have problems, um, you know, really quickly in charging because what today's batteries have as a problem is that deep discharges up to close to 0% and recharging them to 100% is extremely hard on lithium ion batteries. These batteries are not made for that. They are made for, we use it a little bit. Oh, okay, I can plug in, plug in. And you can charge a lithium ion battery anytime. And I mean anytime. It doesn't matter if you just use 10%. Plug in and recharge it. Keep it as close to 100% or at 100%. It's okay. And the thing is, these lithium ion batteries have a certain number of cycles that we call. Now, one cycle is when your battery drains to almost zero and then recharges completely is one cycle. But if you discharge your battery at 50%, you've only done half a cycle. That means you would do two drops to 50% and up to 100% would give you a f one cycle. So you want to recharge them anytime you can. That's the first thing. The things that these batteries ate is deep discharges. Don't let it go to 20 or 10 percent. You're really breaking your battery. You're really uh, creating problems with the battery if you go always below 20 percent or 30 percent before you charge it again. The other bad advice that a lot of people get is oh well you shouldn't um, you know keep your laptop or your phone ch charged when it's 100% you're going to burn the battery totally false once again this is information that comes from old times when the batteries would yes keep charging even at 100% today it doesn't do that today if you use your laptop plugged in all the time it's okay it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't continue charging at 100%. These batteries stop charging completely. They have a chip that actually is a intelligent charger. 
it detects that the battery is fully charged, it just stops the current. So you're not burning the battery because it's plugged in all the time. Same thing for your phone. You know, when you charge your phone at night, I, a friend of mine was saying, oh, well, you know, I, I unplug it because I don't want it to be 100% all night. It's going to overcharge the battery. And the first thing I said is, no, it doesn't. When your phone's at 100%, it's 100%. It stops charging your battery. And you can leave it plugged in all night to make sure that, you know, it doesn't use the battery and you've got a full 100% in the morning. So, you know, lots of bad information. So make sure you don't deep discharge it. Try not to go below 30%. And you know what? If you use your battery from time to time, make sure that, you know, as soon as you can charge it, charge it. That's how my batteries on my laptops actually last years um, because I take proper care. So do as little deep discharges as possible, first of all then it doesn't matter if you keep your, your cell or your laptop plugged in all the time at all. Don't worry about it. One thing that is a problem um, in hot summer days, if it's a very, very hot environment, it's usually less uh, interesting to charge your battery because heat is the enemy of lithium ion batteries. And in a hot summer day, it, of course, the battery, when it charges, already heats up by itself. It eats up even more in hot summer days. So that can also damage the battery a little faster if you can, you know, have it charged when it's cooler or in a cooler environment. It's always, you know, better. But, of course, we can't always do that. Um, if you decide to store a battery, lithium-ion batteries have one uh, flaw when they are stored for a very long period of time. It's better to lower the battery. So use your battery. Say you're going to remove the battery off your laptop. Well, drop the battery's um, charge at around 50%. So use your laptop on battery. And when you're at 50%, 60%, that's when you can actually uh, remove the battery and store it for many, many months. It's better to store a lithium-ion battery about half full rather than fully charged. Um, as it can create some problems and refuse to charge correctly afterwards. Finally, for those that have batteries that are defective, the number one defect of a battery is often that it just um, has issues. So for example, you use your laptop, battery says, oh, it still has 60% left, and then suddenly, out of the blue, your laptop just shuts down. Well, that's the sign of a bad battery. A battery that's starting to have issues. If you do have that type of bad battery, well, changing your battery is probably the best option. And finally, of course, today we have very thin laptops and more and more, you know, and even the phones, more and more, it's impossible to change the battery. So by following these advice, you will extend the life of that battery for a very, very long time. So uh, once again, avoid full discharge. It's the worst thing you can do on your battery. Don't worry about keeping it uh, you know, plugged in all the time. It doesn't break the battery. It doesn't overcharge it. Anybody that tells you that has n no understanding at all of today's batteries. It's just relying on old information from the past. And uh, finally, uh, try to uh, you know, not charge them too much when it's very hot. And um, if you want to store your battery for a long period of time, um, you know, lower the battery to about 50 or 60 percent before you actually store it. It's going to actually maintain itself better. So that's pretty much what you need to know about batteries. And uh, it's, it's sad because 90 percent of the time what I hear is totally wrong, totally wrong. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our channel.